is Kamala Harris Ron Burgundy? I know this has been brought up, but there's been a recent video coming out where she was at a town hall. And no matter what she does, I mean, she needs a teleprompter, even for a town hall. So that tells me she can't even shoot from the hip and really talk to people because she needs all the help that she can get. That's right, Democrats. I'm insulting your candidate. Too bad, so sad. But Kamala Harris got caught using a teleprompter to address constituents during her town hall last night. It's not the first time, nor the last time. But Kamala, go out there and take a bow. What's going on? Don't worry, folks. It's only 13 seconds. But it's 13 seconds of pure gold. Victim of crime. Are you a Republican? Are you a Democrat? The only question I ever ask is, are you okay? Whoa! What's that? What is that? You see the arrow? It's flying around like a little bug. There's your teleprompter. You need that all the time. Where's my teleprompter? Where's my teleprompter? Because a Democrat has no original thought. Kamala Harris has no original thought. She needs that teleprompter right there. She's got one above and below. Above, below. And there's the whole audience. Boy, oh boy. It's just just way, way, way too authentic, right? Victim of crime. Are you a Republican? Are you a Democrat? The only question I ever ask is, are you okay? And sadly, we have seen over the last two weeks since Hurricane Helene, victim of crime. <laughs> Hold on. Violin writes, teleprompter equals security blanket. Well, sometimes that security blanket can blow up in your face. Because remember, 32 is her favorite number. Remember his number, 32. Today we got 32 days until the election. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The, secur the security blanket's not working. Or better yet, better yet from The Simpsons. Remember when they did the movie as Radioactive Man? Okay, everybody, we got real acid. So I want to see goggles. Help. The goggles, they do nothing. <laughs> Help. The teleprompter, it's not working. She, she's making that face too, like, uh-oh. What's going on with the machine? Help, help, help. Hold on. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. So 30 six. days. 32 days. Okay, we got some business to do. We got some business to do. All right. 32 days. Five. And we know we will do it. And, and this is going to be a very tight race until the very end. This is going to be a very tight race until the very end. We are the underdog. And we know we have some hard work ahead. Remember his number? 32. By the way, she said the number 32 like five times. Oh, no. Remember his number? Remember his number? But see, the thing is, Kamala always needs help. And there's been another bit of a scandal. 60 Minutes airs two different answers from Harris to the same question. I I'm sorry, 60 Minutes. Now, what are you doing? Now, I love to play the video, but I know for a fact when it comes down to 60 minutes they will strike a channel if you use any of their material so i remember when youtube used to be fun i remember it used to be fun the 60 minute programs on cbs has broadcast two different answers to the same question from u.s vice president and democratic presidential nominee kamala harris during the segment, interviewer Bill Whitaker asked Harris if she believed the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was not listening to the U.S. amid an escalation in the Middle East. The vice president's reply to that question was not the same in the preview that aired on Sunday as it was in the actual show that was broadcast on Monday. In the preview, which was shown as part of the Faith the Nation program, Harris said, Well, Bill, the work that we have done has resulted in a number of movements in that region by Israel that were very much prompted 
by or a result of many things, including our advocacy of what needs to happen in the region. That is a word. God, what the fuck? What the? F People voted for you? Anyways, anyways, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, folks. However, when the actual 60 Minutes episode aired the next day, the Democratic presidential nominee answer was changed to a completely different one, which was shorter and more clear. We're not going to stop pursuing what is necessary for the United States to be clear about where we stand on the need for this war to end. So those are two different answers for the same question. Hey, 60 Minutes. Did you edit or were you guys trained or threatened or pushed or bullied by Kamala's team to make sure she would look more presentable in that CBS interview? Hey, folks, let's have democracy in the chat. Do you think that this is an overhyped up statement that this is a story that we shouldn't be worried about, that we shouldn't be worried about Kamala using a teleprompter type one for Kit? You have been absolutely disrespectful to Kamala Harris. She is a dedicated politician speaking truth to power. What's wrong with you? Type two, man, Kamala Harris can get all the help she can she, she can get, and she'll still drown in in a in a, in a, in a in a puddle. All right, Kamala Harris. What how many twos will be in the chat? Kamala Harris needs all the help she can get, but she'll still drown in the puddle of water. Continuing on, on Tuesday, the campaign of former U.S. President, uh, former U.S. President and Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump urged CBS and the producers of 60 Minutes to release the full interview with Harris. On Sunday, 60 Minutes teased Kamala's highly anticipated sit-down interview was one of her worst word salads to date, which received significant criticism on social media. During the full interview on Monday evening, the word salad was deceptively edited to lessen Kamala's idiotic response. Fantastic. <laughs> Now, of course, uh, Harris's campaign did respond and insisted it had nothing to do with the changes made to her interview. We do not control CBS production decisions and refer uh, CBS and, and refer CBS refer questions to CBS. A campaign aide told several outlets, including Fox News and Variety. But you know what, folks? We deserve a laugh because Kamala, Kamala, this entire election cycle, you've given us nothing but pure gold, so that we can laugh at you. As we should, all the time, every time. And I want to thank JB for finding this. Shout out to JB. Hope you're safe out there, my friend. Answering questions like Kamala Harris. Hey, what's up, bro? Yo, what's up, dude? How's your fantasy football team looking? Oh, uh, well, I was born in a middle class family, right? I'm, I'm from a, a small town neighborhood, um, which is uh, an area of land that has a lot of houses. Right. And, and houses are, are where people live. Yep. Um, and I lived in a house. Yeah. Uh, in, in a in a neighborhood. So. Yeah. Hey, what's your favorite kind of ice cream? Oh, uh, well, I come from a, a middle class family. You know, my, my father gave birth to me uh, from his man womb in the middle of a class. I was born inside of a classroom. Uh, That's right. Step aside, ladies. Men can have wombs now, too. Don't be a hater. Be a congratulator. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's your favorite kind of ice cream? Oh, uh, well, I come from a, a middle class family. You know, my, my father gave birth to me uh, from his man womb in the middle of a class. I was born inside of a classroom uh, right in the middle of it. And uh, I'm, I'm relatable. You know, I'm just like you. <laughs> Hey, bro, do you want to go out tonight? Oh, uh, well, I've come from a middle-class family. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm from a place where people are really proud of their lawns, right? Yeah. They love grass. They, they, they're prideful of their, their trees and their ferns and uh, all different types of flora. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that's why she doesn't mention her father. <laughs> Torwin, be nice. So what can we learn from this? What 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 can be learned? Well, we, we, we understand that Kamala is an absolutely abysmal candidate needing teleprompters, needing advice. Now, I do find it suspicious 
that that 60 minutes interview was edited and that she gave two different answers to the same question. Folks, I'm going to let you on a little secret. The same people who control our politicians are the same people who control corporate media. But I'm willing to bet one thing. If CBS was interviewing Donald Trump, you better believe that they would have reported that Trump wanted to answer that question differently. Or either that they would have said that Trump was trying to control the interview. Don't look me in the eye and say that there is no bias in corporate media because there is. Now, Trump is no better than any other politician, but I got to tell you, folks, the hypocrisy and the shield wall surrounding Kamala Harris by the Democrats, by liberals, by the corporate elite, by Hollywood is absolutely astounding. I've never seen such a joke candidate, but yet don't worry, folks. You're going to be keep on hearing the same message over and over again, even though Kamala keeps on malfunctioning when it comes down to answering questions because she's giving out word salads or her teleprompter isn't working. You know what they're going to tell you, right? This is the most important election of our lifetime, and we have to vote for Kamala to stop Trump. This isn't the most important election of our lifetime. It's the most hilarious and most interesting, I think, and I've been proven correct about that. But Democrats, what does it say about your candidate knowing that they will break down and stop working when the teleprompter doesn't work. Or for the fact that corporate media has to constantly bebe sit Harris because they know they invested everything in on her and now they're going to lose their credibility. The downfall of corporate media, the Hollywood establishment and Democratic Party is going to be magnificent. And to quote a great legend who is an absolute hero here at Hardlands Media, all lies will be revealed. All lies will be exposed. Correction. All lies will be exposed. One more time. All lies will be exposed.